In this video I'm just going to detail to you uh, a change that we've made to the way that global settings works. And we've done this for a number of reasons, uh, to introduce new features, but also to um, increase our capacity to expand the range of options that are available on this screen. So let me explain. You can see up here, what we had in the past was we would have um, offset bet with greening, stop at, uh, stop trigger at, number of ticks, fiddle kill delay, etc, etc. So you can see a lot of that has changed and is missing. Um, and instead what we've done is we've got a drop down box here. So if you want to do an offset bet, you can basically say, okay, offset by one and hold that order in the market for 10 seconds. So if I sort of simulate what this will do um, in the market, I've got reverse switched on by the way here as well. If I go into this market and click at 365, it will place a bet at 365 and I'll pull this up so you can see it's a pending fill or kill order, it will hold it for 10 seconds in the market if it gets matched at 365, bet angel will offset it at 3.6, so that's the offset bet so instead of ticking a box saying offset bet, you now select it from a drop down menu now you may want to apply um, a stop to it, so what you can actually do now is offset and stop and then you can see that these are greyed out over here, so if I do none, you can see that's not applicable. If I do offset bet, then this box comes to life, and I have to do offset and stop, then these two boxes come to life. So if you want to do an offset with a stop, you can place an order, and then if that gets filled, the stop will apply to that particular bet. So what other options do we have down here? We have offset and trailing stop, um, offset with greening, offset with greening and stop, offset with greening and trailing stop. They all seem a bit wordy, but basically these drop-down menus now replace any of the options that were there before. And one of the advantages with doing this this way is that you can actually save your settings and call it offset with green and so on. You know, you, you get the idea, you get the idea. But we can also introduce new capabilities as well, and one of them that we have here is stop on opening bet. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, well, if you go to Dutching, you can see we've now got this little thing here saying use global settings when placing bet. If I untick that and I put an order um, into the market, you can see I'm backing at the current lay price and I hit place bets now. Um, all of these bets will have stops applied to them. So you can see here this will automatically close at a certain price uh, by placing at a certain price and these ones have been triggered because the markets are liquid these these are going to get triggered immediately anyway so um, this is just for demonstration purposes you wouldn't actually do this this just shows you how it works but basically on the opening bet um, a, a stop has been applied so there you go you can see how that applies um, from there but basically this drop down menu now replaces the old tick boxes you can select what type of bet you want to place and if you want to save that as a specific style you can do so within there um, and we've introduced the stop on opening bet functionality within here as well so that explains how that new global settings area now functions